Hi guys and welcome to this week's video from Bite Size Excel. We've looked in previous videos at spark lines and how you insert them to show your data in little mini charts within your table. In this video we're going to have a quick reminder of our spark lines but we're also going to look at how you might use mini charts as an alternative and one or two of the drawbacks of potentially doing this. I'm going to include a link to this file in the description as well as links to previous videos on spark lines and charts. But saying that, let's first have a quick reminder of how we go about inserting our spark lines. So this is the file from our previous spark lines video, where we inserted little mini charts as both a line chart and a bar chart with high and low points for the 70 or so sites we've got in this data set. And as a quick reminder, we're going to do the same thing here but the data set in a slightly different format. So to insert our spark line, there's two ways of doing it. We can select our data, go to insert, and say we want to put in our line chart first, and then select the location, click OK, and you've got your chart. Or we can click in the location, go to insert, go to column this time, and then you can select your data. Now, as a reminder, if you want to do high and low points, you can actually just select both types of charts, click high and low, so you display those. You might want to also display any negative points, and you can change your marker colors to whatever colors you want. So if you want your high points in green, low points in orange, and we'll leave the negative points as red. You can then take these and copy them across your data set. However, one disadvantage of your spark lines is you are limited to your three types here mostly the line and the column, but there may be instances where you want to display your data in a different way. And in those cases, you might want to use a mini chart. So when I say mini chart, I'm essentially just talking about a small chart, a normal chart made small, so that it's very similar to how a spark line looks. So let's start with this first site. If I select my data and go to my insert tab, recommended charts, Instead of having a column chart, I might want to have a bar chart with my data displayed in this way. So if we click on that and click OK, you'll get your chart. Now I want to make this nice and small like my spark lines. So I'm going to delete my titles, bars and axes. I'm going to make it the size of my area. And then I'm also going to spread out my bars a little bit so that they're a little bit closer together. So if we click on our bars and what I want is my gap width, let's make it about 50%. So they're a little bit close together, so it should be a bit easier to see when we make this chart nice and small. Now what I can do is I can select my chart, move it over if I hold on the Alt key and resize it so that it's the size of my cell. You'll find now when I move my chart, it resizes with the cell. So just undo that. Now what I can do here is I can just copy my chart, go to my next cell and copy it along. Now you might want to check as you go through that it is actually going to resize appropriately. So you'll see that it is when I go and make my columns a bit wider and as well when I'm making my row a little bit higher. So one thing you'll note is that all these are the exact same and that's because they're all still referring to the first column. And what we can do is we can just go in, select and drag it across. Now this is one of the downsides of using mini charts because you've got to manually update your data. But if you've only got a small data set, this can be done relatively quickly. Now, one thing that you might note with your mini charts is when you come in and select your chart and go to format, there are no options for highlighting your highest and your lowest points. There is a way of getting these to show, but it does involve creating a few additional columns. So let's create a max and a min here, and we'll just create the high and low points for this site eight. And here we want to know what the maximum value in this data set is. So if we select our data set, use F4 to make it absolute and hit enter, you can see that your max value is this 15,542. However, we want to make this an if function. So you're only getting the value 
where it is that max. So if the maximum is equal to this value, then we want this value. And if not, we just want a zero. And we want to do the exact same thing for our minimum value. And we don't want to referring to this. We want to equal to this if it's the minimum. And you'll see now that you have your maximum and minimum values. I'm going to take out these bottom cells. And then what we can do is we can select our chart, go to select data, and we'll select all three columns. And if we click OK, you'll see now that you have your maximum and your minimum showing on the chart, but as separate bars. What we can do is we can come in, select our overlap to be 100%. And then you can adjust your colors. So if I select my bar, come to my fill, I want to make that green. I don't want to make my small one orange. You'll see now that you can easily and clearly see your maximum min values on the chart. However, it's not as easy as when you're using spark lines. You could also potentially use your mini charts to show other chart types. So if we go to chart design, change chart type, and say instead choose a pie chart, this will show your data in that format. And again, if you resize, your charts will get bigger and smaller with the cells because we held down the Alt key. So this has just been a quick reminder of sparklines and an introduction to how you might use charts instead of sparklines. If you're interested in finding a little bit more about useful shortcuts to use while you're creating charts, do check out my video on that topic, which I'll link to in the description below. I hope that you found this brief video useful. Remember to like and subscribe, leave me a comment, and I look forward to seeing you again in future.